In this video, I'm going to show you how to fix the issue where you're unable to sign in to the Xbox app. So the first way to go and fix this issue is to come over to the start menu and just search for Microsoft Store. And then we're going to click on the Microsoft Store. In the left hand side, click on library, then just scroll down until you see the Xbox application. Once you've found the Xbox application, if you see this update button next to it, then just go ahead and press it to update it to the latest version. And once you've done that, you can then close out of this window. Next thing we're going to do is come over to the start menu and search for run and then click on the run icon. In the search box type in wsreset.exe and hit enter. That should go and open up the Microsoft Store and then you can close out of this window. Next thing you're going to do is come over to the start menu and search for services and click on the services window. Scroll right down to the bottom of this services page and you'll see all of these different Xbox services. Now you need to double click on each of the Xbox services, change the startup type to automatic and make sure the service status is set to running by clicking the start button if it's not already running. Then we can press apply and OK. So we're going to do the same for all of these Xbox services, just double click on each of them, make sure the startup type set to automatic and press apply and OK. And we're going to do the same for this one as well. Change the startup type to automatic, make sure the service status is started and then press apply and OK. And finally, we're going to do the same for this one. And once you've done all of that, you can close out of this window and that should have fixed any sign in issues with the Xbox app. If it's still not working, the final solution is to come over to the start menu, search for settings and click on the settings window. In the left hand side, select apps, click on installed apps, use the search box to type in Xbox, click on the three horizontal dots next to the Xbox application and click on advanced options. Scroll down to where it says terminate and click on this terminate button. Then scroll down to reset and click on the repair button. And then finally, the most important one is you need to click on this reset button and press reset. Once you've done all of that, you can check to see if that solved your issue. And it's as simple as that, guys. If you did find this video helpful, then let me know in the comments and I'll see you in the next one.